Hello my soccer universe to another unpacking video and I'm very well aware that I'm shooting this unpacking video on a day where Milan have to play Napoli and probably will get beaten by them. However, I ordered directly from the Milan store and the parcel arrived uh, not too long ago and yeah. I, they had, since they reached the quarterfinals, a special promotion, free printing. And then I said, okay, free printing, it actually might make it worth it of ordering. Uh, I actually wanted to get the fourth shirt, but that was already a teeny bit too late. I actually do like that fourth shirt, I have to say. Uh, but it was already a little bit too late. It was only available in tiny sizes, small and so on. Even the goalkeeper jersey, which looks probably even a teeny bit better. Although I don't really collect goalkeeper jerseys, to be honest. So I got the other jersey that I really, really like. And I was thinking about adding another one too. But you know, let's keep it reasonable with the free printing. And I really got it all the way as I wanted it. Uh, all technical details that I could put on and so yeah um, it came out cheaper than I would have bought the jersey blank by itself first off from the Milan store I do get Milan stickers I guess I'm gonna give this to my girls I'm not gonna open this now and here's the shirt You have not seen much, but I think if you follow my channel, you already know which shirt this is. It is, of course, oh, it's really nice. The away jersey from this season. I really enjoy this design. Do I wish that it would be, um, that the stripes would stretch a little bit more? Yes, I would. I did get it with the Scudetto. I did get it with the sleeve sponsor. I did get it with the Serie A patch, which, you know, it's also nice to have on there. And I want you to appreciate the design. I also got, of course, a name set. I was going forth, uh, back and forth. I have a few with name sets coming, but I decided I go with Theo Hernandez. Uh, I actually really like it also I have now a cousin who is called Theo so that makes it actually also kind of funny and I also got the VFOX sponsor so full configuration the one thing I have to say is uh, while I really like the way that the Scudetto looks here um, that it's just you know it's not a felt patch it's just a plastic transfer which I find a little bit underwhelming I gotta say uh, it is very nicely done. I mean, uh, there is some texture in it that I really enjoy. Um, and it also looks like around it there is a little bit of a cord over, over there, but it's really just a flat tra transfer, which is maybe a little bit uh, disappointing. I gotta say, but other than that, I really love this shirt and I'm very pleased. Yeah, maybe I have to iron over, let it hang a little bit because the number in transport got a little bit wrinkled up don't like that but i have a video of how to deal with wrinkled sponsors other than that, it's really ni nicely but i gotta say the serie a font yes this is how, how it is but the h and the e look positively upside down <laughs> but this is a feature of the serie a font i even think that the nine looks a little bit weird i'm gonna hang this back there that we can also admire it in all its glory Voila, here it is, you know, all this glory from the front. I actually, the Puma patch on the bottom there is really, really nice in black and gold. I gotta say, I like it. I also find it interesting that the Serie A patch does not have the season on it, whereas on the previous uh, two seasons, it had the seasons on there. So that's an interesting feature as well. Uh, am I very happy with the many sponsors? Maybe not, but you know, this is how it is worn. So I actually like it, but I... I also, you know, I've still said the Emirates Fly Beta is not the most pleasing sponsor for me personally. However, uh, I find it very nice how it's incorporated into the design. Uh, maybe they could have under the Emirates made another of these double straps. But what I have to say, this is the first time that Puma 
got the Milan away jersey correct because you need to have the white and then you need to have red and black kind of to balance it all out and then the horizontal striping uh, it's a classic uh, design that was used once in the 80s at a time when Milan was not that great uh, but I really enjoy it I, I really find um, red and black work very well together as an accent on white so absolutely love this shirt uh, very pleased yes Milan is not doing all that great this season but hey the season is not over yet and let's see where it goes any case let me know what do you think about this jersey? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.